Good morning. We are here with another edition of Golfing the World. We're back in Ireland, and I am so excited to take you everywhere. In this very special edition of Golfing the World, we return once again to the greatest golf destination on the planet for a look at the best in Castle Golf. Castle Golf is a celebration of ancient Irish culture where one can live like royalty and enjoy some of the great parkland golf courses in the world. Yeah, we're obviously known worldwide for our Lynx properties and Lynx products, but we really have some of the best parkland golf courses on offer in, in Europe and if not all over the world. So we're very, very proud of, of what we have on offer here at Killeen Castle. We're, we're very proud of the overall Irish parkland product. Castle golf for me is, is history, it's fun, it's tradition. It's really Ireland, it's Ireland in a nutshell. It's kind of what you want when you come to Ireland. We love uh, people to come and enjoy the castle and, and, and play a little bit of golf and get some castle golf and get the best of both worlds. Ireland is a place to relax and take in the natural beauty. And of course, music and good times. Or as they like to say in Ireland, the crack. Amazing and completely unique Castle Golf. The people are so nice, so welcoming. I feel like I'm at home. Pack your bags. We're heading to the Emerald Island with Hannah Liner and crew this time on Golfing the World. Leaving Dublin, we head west on our castle golf journey to beautiful County Meath, home to Colleen Castle and the Jack Nicholas design Lean Castle Golf Course. We're obviously known worldwide for our Lynx properties and Lynx products, but we really have some of the best parkland golf courses on offer in, in Europe and if not all over the world. So we're very, very proud of, of what we have on offer here at Killeen Castle. We're, we're very proud of the, the, the overall Irish parkland product. We're lucky to have Jack Nicholas as our designer here for the signature golf course. We've got an 840 year old castle in the middle of the estate. 30 minutes from Dublin Airport, we've got a lot to offer. I've been to Ireland for 24 hours and it has been absolutely incredible so far. I can't wait to just get inside a castle, see the history, see the like architecture, the, the way it's designed. I'm so excited. <laughs> We opened in 2008, uh, Jack Nicholas Design, Jack Nicholas Signature Golf Course. He was here quite a bit for the build. Um, we've got a beautiful old castle here in the yeah, centre of the state. So it's been here since 1181, so quite a bit before the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Nicholas came along. So today we're going to be playing the Solheim Tees. We're going to play Solheim Tees. We've got a few Solheim Pins. Okay. So you'll get a flavour of. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Play. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Lost. Touch back up the hill. All right, Hannah, roll it in. We got one up for USA. Twelve here, Hannah. Probably my favourite hole in the whole golf course. Um, we're not drawing back to the castle in this hole, unlike most other ones. But it's a really, really good par five. You can take on a bit of the corner here over the bunkers on the right. You've got about 250 to carry them. And if you get a good one away here, you can uh, you can have a think about having a go on two. <laughs> it plays a fade here, like how Jack Nicholas would want us to, but I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I 
started playing here, I couldn't, I couldn't draw a picture of the face. Yeah, face. Just, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's one singular tree sat on the left, just over the stream, and that's what's known here as a fairy tree. So Jack came in and he's looking at the shapes and he's loving the hole and he's saying, well, this, we're, all, we're doing great guys, but that tree has got to go. And we said, well, Jack, that's a fairy tree. We can't get rid of that tree. So he's the like, owners are here. here. He's like, get rid of the tree, guys. It messes with the hole. So it got to the point that one of the owners is here and he hands Jack the key to the JCB. I said, Jack, you want to get rid of that fairy tree? Be my guest, but it brings a lifetime of bad luck. Oh. So fairy tree stays where it is. Good, you're on dry land, good swing. If I touch the fairy tree, is it good luck? Uh, you're okay, just don't damage it. <laughs> Cormac has been such a great host so far. He knows so much about the history and you can tell he just loves this place so much. Got as far as 17 here now. It's a tough par four. Uh, trying lots to, of water. Lots of water. <laughs> yeah. So it's a it's a really really good risk reward hole. You can take off as much as you want over the lake here. So you can take on a driver line, try and narrow it down to a wedge for a tough par four late in the round. All right. I think we know what you're going to do anyway. I right? think I'm going to go for it. Yep. So. <laughs> Give it hell. Up to 18 now, Hannah. Probably one of the most challenging holes on the golf course. Index 2, uh, really, really challenging finish. You've got water down the right, we've got trees down the right, so it's, it's asking for a good one here. Would you say it's your favorite? Probably is one of them, yeah. yeah. yeah a lot of games have been won and lost here. But the backdrop here is one of the most special backdrops in, in any golf holes in Ireland. So. You know anyone that like scolded into the window of the castle or anything? Uh, no, nobody's admitted it, but I'm sure there's been one or two. <laughs> there has to be, there has yeah. to be. That's a good story. <laughs> 18 was so much fun. I hit a pure drive right down the middle. And my second shot, I actually hit thin. That'll work, oh, in the wind. <laughs> Do you breathe in or out on your backswing? <laughs> oh, that's dirty. Oh! Give it to me. oh. <laughs> nice putt. No pressure now, Hannah. Huh? Not even a doubt. Too easy, Hannah. Huh? Well done. So I hit it in close, about two to three feet, and just sunk it for birdie. Wasn't even a question. What a treat. Anna's a great player. Uh, great to have her here seeing Colleen Castle for the first time. Unfortunately, I, I think I came out on the wrong end of the, uh, of the match today, but we had great fun out there. Everything we do is focused on, on the golfer and their experience, and uh, we're, we couldn't be prouder of, of what we have on offer here at Gillian Castle. The people are so nice, so welcoming. I feel like I'm at home, and we lucked out on the weather. So, Florida girl brought some sunshine. Golf in Ireland is amazing in any kind of weather, really. Castle Golf, this time on Golfing the World. Our journey across the island of Ireland in search of Castle Golf continues to the legendary Ashford Castle. First impressions, is this a dream? They're real. Ashford Castle is a mystical playground for our princess from Miami. And yes, home to the very wonderful nine-hole Buddy Hackett gem of a golf course, where gentleman Adrian Wallace takes us out for a quiet round in soft Irish rain. 
Solid, solid. Get up. It's gotta get home. Ashford Castle is a special place. The golf club was designed by a guy called Eddie Hackett. So it's great to have an Eddie Hackett association. He was obviously the most respected golf, Irish golf course architect ever. Lovely, quiet hands. Oh! Brilliant. All right, so we're on the third hole now. Where should I go? This is um, a right angle dog leg left. Um, it's named after Tom Watson. Back in 1983, he drove the grain and sank the putt. Wow, so, from here? From here. Wow. It was 40 years ago, the trees were less mature. So I would say the shot isn't on. Are you gonna go for it? I think I gotta at least try. I mean, then maybe you guys can make a new plaque for me. <laughs> I really don't wanna rename the hole. <laughs> Give it a go. Hey, I think maybe you will be renaming it. <laughs> okay, Hannah, welcome. This is called the Shamrock for obvious reasons. Right. Um, all the trouble's on the front, so you, you don't want to be you don't want to be shy on this. What are you going to give it? So I think I'm going to play about um, 130, a nine iron, uh, a little uphill. So I'm just going to take a little bit more club. Good luck. Be the club. Yes. Oh. You're not shy. <laughs> you respect me. The fifth hole is the quiet man hole. It's where uh, Maureen O'Hara herds sheep in the movie, in the opening scene. The quiet man movie, obviously in 1951, was made by John Ford. And it's a huge draw for our guests. Um, they are massive fans of the movie and it's a charming movie. It won two Oscars. Well, this course has been amazing so far. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's been my pleasure. It's not over yet. This is, this is our finishing par three. It's Christy O'Connor Jr.'s favorite golf hole it was. My favorite hole at Ashford Castle was the ninth hole because you get scenic views of the lake and the castle as well. It's a par three, and I've heard a lot of stories about people getting engaged on there. So maybe it brings good luck. I think that's good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hi, love. An um, easy tapping. I... An easy tapping. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. This was amazing. We're going out of bounds right now on Golfing the World. Now we're off to go shoot. These are the clay targets. A lot more straightforward when they're traveling directly away from us or back towards us. Um, the easiest place to shoot them is right at the peak of the defense of this flight. point. Cool. I'm like kind of good at this. <laughs> yes, yesterday we went out to the shooting range. I got some practice in and the instructor was absolutely amazing. It was classy. It felt like I was in a movie. Cool. Yes. Nice shot. <laughs> Almost pointed at him. Sorry. That's alright. That's why I completely let go. But that's a good shot. Well done. Ashford Castle Hotel and Golf Course. Another unforgettable stop on our castle golf journey. You looking forward to hitting a few shots? Oh yeah, you looking forward to getting your ass kicked today? I am going to, I said that would be hard now, the amount of golf I'm playing Hannah, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have fun. Hey, stick around as Hannah makes some new friends at Tremolin Castle Golf Club. Coming up next on Golfing the World.
Yeah, so Galway was absolutely incredible. The Irish music they were playing in the pubs were so fun, and all the people were, had so much energy. It was so fun. Our next stop on this beautiful castle golf journey takes us to the magnificent world of Dromolin Castle. There is certainly something special here. Amazing gardens, breathtaking scenery, and a tranquil old world elegance. Here we meet head professional Ian Kearney, who takes us for a trip around the beautiful Dromolin Golf Club. Super shot, Hannah. Thank you. Let's see if I could get a bird. Superb. Boom. Easy. Fantastic. Well done. All right. Uh, seventh hole is our signature hole. It's about 160 yards downhill. Plays closer to 135, something like that, with the amount of downhill that we have. So uh, it's just a sensational golf hole because of all of the factors of that downhill. Wind plays up around the lake, and then you have the majestic castle here behind us framing the whole tee shot. So it's a, it's just a sensational hole. It's much trickier than it looks as well on on uh, on TV or or uh, on paper. Uh, much trickier in person. I'm gonna do a pitching wedge. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Let's see how we go from that one. You really don't get the castle views in the first couple holes, so the seventh hole really brought that dramatic feeling like of just wow. Oh yeah, I stuck it really close. I had about two and a half feet, so almost hold it. Would have been my first hole in one and that would have been special, especially in Ireland, so. Little short, almost. Yep, uh, I think you might still be out. <laughs> <laughs> now you just rub it in, are you? <laughs> there you go. Okay, roll her home, partner. I'll clean this one up. Please do, for a beautiful two. That's the way to do it, unbelievable yep. job. What a two, put it there. Oh. Unbelievable, castle Thanks. in the background. Yeah, Making I mean, a two. you can't get anything better than this, right? Yeah, it's just easy, golf's easy, isn't it? Especially when you're playing well. What else would you be doing? <laughs> Oh, nice. Great shot. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you very much. It's just such a, a, a tricky little hole. It's it's a great birdie opportunity. It's um, it's one that you just remember every time you, you get to it. You think of all the lovely shots you've hit. You think of some of the bad shots you've hit there. The seventh, it's one of my favorites. I look forward to it every time I, I play it, for sure. Oh, I killed that. Oh, that's right. We have done a big renovation on the golf course, Hannah, and part of it was to clear out some of the wetlands, and we have a beautiful new Swilkin Bridge in honor of our chairman, Mr. O'Brien. All right, so now we're on 17. Yep. It's a par three. Yeah, it plays quite a bit longer than what we normally have, so today, wind into off the left, so we're looking at something along the lines of a 175, 180 shot. Okay. It's all carried to get over that lake as well, so, um, Women's Irish Open last year, actually, the, the winner got up and down from, she had to take her socks and shoes off and she was just in the edge of the lake. She wow. got up and down from Clara, yeah. She got up and down from the edge of the lake, so it was pretty cool. But yeah, it definitely plays longer as, as she was almost caught out on that day. So uh, yeah. yeah, tough hole today. Awesome, let's do it. Get in! Oh! Yeah, there we good go. Good pot, yeah. We're making twos all over the place. We'll take that. Yeah. All right, so what an incredible view is this? 
Dromoling Castle's golf was absolutely incredible. It was hard to beat. You could tell there's so much history behind it. And even like my favorite, the last hole with the big tree in the center, like I think it just gives a character. All right, so talk to me about this tree. This is huge. It's a, it's a 400 year old tree, Anna, believe it or not. <laughs> I have to hug it. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's in honor of our, our course designer, JB Carr, very famous Irish golfer and, and renowned golf course architect. There's a great story about it when um, Mr. Carr fell ill, unfortunately, he said, uh, whatever you do, don't, don't touch my tree. So it was his <laughs> famous, yeah, don't touch his tree. So it is, it's fantastic. It really frames the whole and um, everybody talks about it, you know, wow. so it's one of those uh, almost as old as the castle itself. Yeah. So it's special. Absolutely. Yeah, super shot. Oh. Wow. Ah. Yeah, that'll work. Beauty. Oh Woo! my gosh, what oh, a putt! Beautiful. Second. What a beautiful putt. <laughs> yeah, that's Anna, a way to finish. it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. much. Great day. Thank you, Mel. Yes, it was absolutely so fun. Lovely to have you here in Jamolan. Thanks, Mel. I hope you come back and visit us again. It's just such an enjoyable resort. There's so many things to do. Um, you've obviously, you know, a, a thousand year old castle and it's steeped in history and tradition. You're really spoiled for choice, fantastic food, fantastic people. Um, for me, it's all about the people and the service and, and uh, we pride ourselves in that here in Ireland as well. So we, we really love what we do. We love guests coming here. We love people having a great time on their holidays and that's really what we try and uh, show when, when you come here to visit Tremoland. Ireland is such an amazing country, full of beauty and soul. But these castles, so special in every way.